Welcome to WWE Discussion. I'm your host and WWE enthusiast, Dougie Doug. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing NXT October 3rd, 2023 edition. And No Mercy was an important night for NXT, crowning new champions and bringing heat and rivalries to a close. Uh, the October 3rd edition of NXT would deal with the aftermath of the show. Trick Williams uh, versus Dominic Mysterio in a rematch for the North American Championship. Uh, Ayo and Dragunov making an appearance following his impressive NXT Championship victory. Uh, Butch and Tyler Bay teaming once again to take on Gallus. This was sure to be an exciting night as the future of NXT stepped up. And with that, we'll go ahead and get right into the action starting with... Butch and Tyler Bate versus Gallus, and this was a good but not great match between four men that know each other pretty well. It felt shorter than it was, but it never quite, quite reached its peak after 10 minutes. It is fun to see British Strong style, style reunited. The big strong boy would be a solid addition to the Brawn Brutes if they are looking to add a fourth, and Bate is willing to work the main roster. Holland will benefit from any extra time he gets in NXT. Alongside Butch and Pete, Gallus is though they're most more likely they're not going to be on the losing end of this feud, and that is going to help. That is not going to help them stay relevant. Not going to do their credibility any favor if they end up on the short end of the stick because of this. Ilya and Dragunov and Trick Williams, the segment also featured Carmelo Hayes and Dominic Mysterio, and everyone in this angle was on point, even if it was. Well, an interesting decision to have Dragunov overshadow this champion in his first promo segment. He did deliver a solid promo, uh, but Trick kind of took uh, took over after he came out to the ring. Melo might be going back to the uh, the dark side once again. Those bad guy instincts might be returning. You know, he Melo is trying to help his friend, but some of the things he said indicate that he is less than confident in his friend's ability. Uh, he did warn him against defending the title against Judgment Day by himself. Trick didn't listen. Trick had goaded into doing it himself. And, uh, yeah. Well, we'll talk about how that worked out for him a little bit later on. Uh, it could be very interesting if it is Hayes and not Trick that, uh, breaks up this dynamic. Mellow and Trick, as a team, or on their own, they can go far. It's just a matter of their goals and creative. Number one contenders match for the NXT Women's Championship, Hartwell versus Valkyria versus Perez. And since her call off to Monday, or since getting trapped with the Monday Night Raw, Andy Hartwell basically hasn't really done anything. Uh, it was, so it was nice to see her working a lengthy match again, especially with top talent that could push her like the Valkyrie and the project she could. It is a shame though that ultimately she was just brought in to take the fall in this match. Lynch vs. Valkyrie is probably the biggest money match of the three hours she presented, but it's also a story that could be told at any time. Uh, Perez and James will continue their feud that nobody really remembered, uh, and that feud might carry over to Deadline in December, unlikely. Uh, but it, it's likely that it's over before then, but it might get revisited uh, in time for deadline in December as both of those women might be comp- will probably be competing in the Iron Survivor Challenge. Um, surprised to get Perez won it last year uh, as well too, so maybe for, so you would think Perez would be looking to run it back. But yeah, Lynch versus Valkyria, money matchup right there, but it would be nice to see Andy Hartwell get a NXT title match as well. And also Lynch versus Perez. I mean, that's the one thing I do like about Le- Becky Lynch being the NXT Women's Champion is the amount of matchups you could do with her while you have her as champion. It's, ex- it's exciting. And then the main event, the North American Championship match, Trick Williams versus Dominic Mysterio. And while it took uh, Dominic controlling the action more, this was better than the uh, No Mercy match between these two in terms of pure in ring action. They also look smoother working together in match two versus match one. That does come with the caveat that this match had way too many people involved at the end, like pretty much most Judgment Day matches. It took a full effort from the Judgment Day to help Mysterio reclaim the gold. And truth be told, I'm going to say that this was a miss of a booking decision. This was the wrong call here to take the title away from Trick this fast. I mean, why did he even win it in the first place? Judgment Day has enough going on at the moment. And, you know, Dominic Mysterio is going to send him out to the United States Championship or, you know, have them backed up the Prince in punishment and tag team action for a while. I mean, 
or even try to go after the Intercontinental title. I mean, you could have done anything else. This just kind of felt lazy to not only book the trick to win the title, but then decide to go back on it 24 hours later. Or, well, not 24 hours later, but to go back on it so soon. Just lazy. Um, whatever the plan is going forward, the goal should be to keep Trick hot because he might be the most over guy in NXT. So in conclusion, while this could have been an exciting show, it just wasn't. It was a routine show after a No Mercy paper premium live event that was a hit. The matches were solid but not standouts. The problem was kept momentum uh, for the future, uh, kept momentum focused on the future, but were mostly forgettable. With big names hurting NXT had a chance to highlight other stars, but uh, this was one of the lightest weeks in ter terms of overall ro roster representation. Roster representation. Uh, NXT opted to make this show look like an episode of SmackDown. Uh, that, which, and when you think about next Tuesday, Dynamite is going to be on Tuesday as well, so WWE might be trying to set up uh, a big card for next week, or WWE is setting up a big card for next week's show, and they're trying to hook the audience to get, hook the audience this week to get them to tune in next week, as again, NXT is going head to head with Dynamite again, uh, rather than establishing big matches for the current NXT stars, the company has decided to focus on outside names from Raw and SmackDown, and that may win the week for them in the ratings battle, but it's not sustainable, and it's not part of what has made NXT a better product as of late. The goal should still be to highlight rising stars in NXT. On the positive side, the show was packed with female stars. The division took up a good half of the show. Becky Lynch then sat the head of the division, uh, and through her effort, and with her as champion, NXT is making a more collective effort to highlight the many stars like a challenger. The drama between Hayes and Williams is also an exciting story. The, those these those two are two of the most charismatic acts in NXT, and wherever they go together, and or wherever they go together or against each other, it's a highlight um, waiting to happen. And uh, yeah, with that, that will conclude this episode of WWE Discussion. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button down below.